News now from Fox. We start the morning with this breaking news alert out of Mexico City, Mexico. A metro overpass has collapsed onto the road below. There are reports of 23 people dead, dozens injured. The latest confirmed by Fox News, but most of the details are coming from the Associated Press. An elevated section of the Mexico City metro collapsed and sent a subway car plunging toward a busy boulevard late last night, killing at least 23 people and injuring about 70. That's according to city officials. Rescuers searched a car left dangling from the overpass for hours for anyone who might be trapped. Those efforts were suspended early this morning, however, because of safety concerns for those working near the precariously dangling car. A crane was brought in to help shore it up, so that is exactly what you are looking at dead ahead, that yellow crane there. The mayor of Mexico City said, we don't know if they are alive. Of the people possibly trapped inside the car following one of the deadliest accidents in the city's subway system, which is among the busiest in the world. Earlier, the mayor, Claudia Scheinbaum, said someone had been pulled alive from a car that was trapped on the road below. She said 49 of the injured were hospitalized and that seven were in serious condition and undergoing surgery. This is a quote from Scheinbaum. There are unfortunately children among the dead, without specifying how many. The overpass was about five meters, which is 16 feet above the road in the borough of Tualahac. But the train ran above a concrete median strip, which apparently lessened the casualties among motorists on the road below. Shine bomb. Again, the mayor of Mexico City said a support team gave way just as the train passed over it. The Mexico City Metro has had at least two serious accidents since its inauguration half a century ago. In March of last year, a collision between two trains at the Taka. Tacubaya Station left one passenger dead and injured 41 people. In 2015, a train that did not stop on time crashed into another at the Oceana Station, injuring 12. I do want to show you switch gears from the live scene here to some viewer video of the scene shortly after it happened. I want to make sure that I do get the right graphic up for you here as well, everybody, on News Now from Fox. So again, Una cena, pues, realmente... fuerte y así mismo pues ahora viene la intervención por parte de servicios periciales ingenieros especiales. All right everybody again this is Angel de Hernandez who uploaded this video to Storyful showing the scene there shortly after the collapse and crash Mexico City metro system there. A lot of people taking to social media and not just uploading videos, but also uh, sharing their accounts of what happened and their reaction as well. The collapse occurred on the newest of the Mexico City subway lines, Line 12, which stretches far into the city's south side. Like many of the city's dozen subway lines, it runs underground through more central areas of the city of 9 million, but then runs on elevated concrete structures on the city's outskirts. The collapse could represent a major blow for Mexican Foreign Relations Secretary Marcelo Ebrard, who was Mexico City's mayor from 2006 to 2012 when Line 12 was built. Allegations about poor design and construction on the subway line emerged soon after Ebrard left office as mayor. The line had to be partly closed in 2013 so tracks could be repaired. Ebrard took to Twitter to say what happened today on the metro is a terrible tragedy. Of course, the causes should be investigated and those responsible should be identified, he wrote. I repeat that I am entirely at the disposition of authorities to contribute in whatever way is necessary. End. Twitter. Quote. It was not clear whether a 7.1 magnitude earthquake in 26, 2017, excuse me, that is a 7.1 magnitude earthquake in 2017, could have affected the subway line. So this is a top story that we are going to continue to follow all morning and all day for you right here on News Now from Fox. We are back out to the live images right here on News Now from Fox. So.